Welcome to the world of teenage trials and tribulations, where the hallways of adolescence echo with the timeless resonance of the 1987 TV series Degrassi High. This Canadian gem, known for its unfiltered portrayal of the challenges faced by young minds, invites you to wander down memory lane and ask yourself, do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Degrassi High, with its raw and authentic narrative, provides a canvas painted with the hues of teenage angst, friendship, and self-discovery. As we delve into the intricate lives of its characters, the show becomes a mirror reflecting the universal experiences of youth. The series, like a reliable old friend, seems to have left an indelible mark on those who tuned in during its heyday. Now think back what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic series. Was it a character's journey that resonated with your own struggles, or perhaps a plot twist that caught you by surprise? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. But before we embark on this journey down memory lane, let's unveil some captivating facts about Degrassi High. Did you know that the show wasn't afraid to tackle taboo topics, from teen pregnancy to drug abuse, presenting them with an unflinching honesty rarely seen in TV at the time? This bold approach earned Degrassi High a special place in the hearts of viewers, transcending the typical teen drama genre. So, as we revisit the hallways of Degrassi High, let's celebrate the impact it had on shaping our perceptions of adolescence. Share your anecdotes and memories, the stage is yours. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In a pivotal scene of Bad Blood, Part 1 and 2, Neil Hope took over from Darren Brown for Dwayne's blood test shot due to Brown's fear of needles. This moment highlighted the challenges faced by the characters in the series, bringing a realistic touch to the show. Interestingly, in 1990, TV producer Aaron Spelling sought to acquire the rights to the Degrassi series, but his bid was rejected. Subsequently, he created the iconic teen drama Beverly Hills, 9210, which became a significant cultural phenomenon. Notably, most students transitioned to grade 9 at Degrassi Junior High, with the exception of Joey. His focus on his band rather than academics served as a reminder of the varied paths taken by the characters as they navigated the challenges of adolescence. These instances reflect the multifaceted nature of the characters and storylines in Degrassi High, capturing the essence of the series that went beyond typical teen dramas of its time. Pat Mastroni holds a unique record in the annals of the iconic 1987 TV series. Throughout its entire run, he stood as the sole cast member to grace almost every episode, portraying the memorable character Joey Jeremiah. Mastroni's consistent presence provided a stable anchor to the show creating a familiar face for viewers as they navigated the diverse challenges faced by the characters in Degrassi High. This longevity in the series speaks volumes about the impact and resonance of his character, making Joey Jeremiah a central figure in the unfolding narratives of adolescence. Interestingly, Mastroni's journey into the role was not happenstance. In a twist of fate, he seized an opportunity when his high school corridors were adorned with flyers about the show. His father, spotting one such flyer, encouraged him to fill it out and submit it, setting in motion the trajectory that would make Mastroini the producer's first choice for Joey Jeremiah. This behind-the-scenes anecdote sheds light on the serendipitous events that led to the embodiment of a character etched into the fabric of Degrassi High. This singular casting choice underscores the show's commitment to authenticity and relatability as Mastroini's journey mirrors the varied paths taken by the characters within the series. It adds a layer of realism to the portrayal of adolescence, emphasizing the interconnectedness of on-screen narratives with the actor's own life stories. In this way, Degrassi High transcends the boundaries of typical teen dramas, offering viewers a nuanced exploration of the challenges and triumphs of growing up. Pat Mastroini's enduring presence in Degrassi High not only contributed to the show's success, but also became emblematic of the series' impact on popular culture. His portrayal of Joey Jeremiah remains a touchstone for fans, encapsulating the essence of the show that resonates with audiences even beyond the confines of its original broadcast. Maya Dickens, known for his role as Kathleen's abusive ex-boyfriend, had a dual role on the set of the iconic 1987 TV series. When not portraying a troubling character on screen, Dickens worked as a member of the electrical crew behind the scenes. This unique dual contribution exemplifies the collaborative nature of the production team, where individuals seamlessly transition between on-screen roles and off-screen responsibilities. 
Moreover, Degrassi High featured crew members making cameo appearances in various episodes. Art director Judy Shiner appeared as a customer at Spike's Mom's Salon in Degrassi High. It's late, while picture editor Robert DeLint took on the role of a cashier in Degrassi High. Great expectations. Susan Nielsen, a writer for the series, stepped into the on-screen world as Loella, the caretaker of Degrassi Junior High, in episodes like Degrassi High, Dog Days, and Degrassi High, Season's Greetings. These instances highlight the interconnectedness of the production team with the fictional universe they help bring to life. Furthermore, despite being a fan favorite, Kirsten Bourne entered the show as Tessa Campanelli, initially as a minor character. However, it wasn't until the final season that Bourne secured a recurring role. Her journey within the series mirrors the dynamic evolution of characters, showcasing the flexibility and depth of storytelling that characterized Degrassi High. These behind-the-scenes insights into the dual roles of crew members and the evolution of characters like Tessa Campanelli add layers of complexity to the narrative fabric of Degrassi High. The series not only captured the trials and tribulations of its characters on screen, but also demonstrated the collaborative spirit and adaptability of its production team. In high school, Joey Jeremiah's frequent visits to the principal's office marked a shift from his junior high days, where Vice Principal Mr. S Lawrence handled his matters. This transition reflected the evolving challenges faced by the characters in their journey through adolescence. Meanwhile, the real-life backdrop of Earl Grey Senior Public School played a significant role in the series. The school served as Borden High School in the third season, mirroring the experiences of the actors who attended classes there, including creator Linda Schuyler. The cafeteria's cameo in the episode season's greetings added a touch of reality to the on-screen narrative. However, not all off-screen stories align with the positive tone of the show. Jason Byad Dickens, known for his role as Scott Smith, had a darker chapter in real life. Involved in a disturbing incident of child abuse and child pornography-related offenses starting in 2000, Dickens faced legal consequences 16 years later in 2016. This stark contrast highlights the complexity of the individuals both on and off the screen, emphasizing the gritty reality that some actors grappled with beyond the world of Degrassi High. These instances showcase the multifaceted nature of the series, delving into the real and sometimes harsh experiences that influence the narrative. The seamless integration of real-life locations, coupled with the unexpected twists in the actors' personal stories, adds layers of authenticity to Degrassi High's exploration of the challenges and triumphs of growing up. As we bid adieu to the nostalgic halls of teenage tribulations and triumphs, let the echoes of Degrassi High linger in the corridors of your memories. Like a well-worn yearbook, each episode unfolds tales of friendship, heartbreak, and self-discovery. As you journey through the labyrinth of life, take a moment to reflect on the characters who became companions in your own narrative. Perhaps you found solace in the resilient Caitlin, resonated with the rebellious spirit of Joey, or admired the quiet strength of Wheels. The halls of Degrassi High are more than a backdrop. They are a mirror reflecting the complexities of adolescence. In every awkward pause, heated argument, or tender moment, see the shadows of your own experiences. Now it's your turn to share. What threads of Degrassi High have woven into the tapestry of your recollections? Was it a particular episode that struck a chord or a character whose journey mirrored your own? Unearth those gems and share them with the community. Let the collective nostalgia of shared memories bind us, transcending time and space. In the comments below, let your thoughts flow like ink on a yearbook page. Connect with fellow travelers on this sentimental journey and celebrate the enduring resonance of Degrassi High. Your stories are the legacy that keeps the spirit of Degrassi High alive. Thank you for joining us in this walk down memory lane. Your time and reflections are cherished. Until we meet again, keep those memories close like cherished pages of a well-loved script. After all, the stories we carry are the true treasures of our own Degrassi High.